Hi, hello, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining, and again, a long time between the last video. Similar thing, busy with work, and so on. Anyway, I'm actually recording this in a hotel, so hopefully I'll get to upload it. The internet seems a little better than a few weeks ago when I was in a hotel and I couldn't stop traveling for work. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So we left that, this is exactly where we left off, and our Git repo is clean because we committed our changes the last time. And the last time we were talking about column and row span. And so this is the example for that. And we're going to erase this because we're not going to continue with tables. I told you, I told you, there are more you can do with tables, but it's just good enough to know the basics. And then you can always go look up the rest of the examples online or W3C school, right? Like remember, I was just trying to show you some of the tags that are available, not all of them, and that basic usage, and then some of the capabilities with it. And then you can go find out more and you just need to get started. And then after you get started, you're going to have questions and you say, oh, can I do this? Or maybe I want to do this and let me see if somebody else has done it. Okay. So let's just keep going. Um, what I want to do today is um, my previous video, I probably said that the next video was going to cover diff tag and span tags and some other tags, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do like the anchor tag, image tag, and probably something else. We'll see some others, but these tags, I should have really covered them but probably in the basic section, but I didn't. And I wanted to go back and do a fifth part in basic but HTML basic section, but I decided not to, I'll just cover them here. So let's jump right into it. So the tag we're gonna be covering right now is the anchor tag, right? And the anchor tag is how you link to pages or um, link to different parts of your document. And you'll see exactly what I mean. So let's start off and just do an anchor tag. It's A for anchor tag. There's an attribute call, and if you remember, this is how you do a tag, right? You have to start, um, the, this is the entire tag or element. We can use them interchangeably sometimes, and um, here you have the star tag and end tag, okay? And then for the star tag, you always put attributes, and attributes always look like ATTR equals, you know, attribute name, right? Name equals to some value in quotes, right? And then another attribute, and then, you know, some value in quotes. And so here there's this attribute called href. Like I told you before, all elements or tags can have the ID attribute. So you can identify it, give the unique name and look it up in code. I think I mentioned that way back in basic, but here for the anchor tag, we have this hypertext reference attribute, href. And so this is the uh, reference to another page or a site. So HTTP colon, for example, google.com. And we put it in quotes and we can say, click here for Google. Oh, let's just do this, Google's website and we'll do like a break tag for example right um, br I'm not remember my own thing and then we'll do another one and we say href and we'll say http colon forward slash yahoo dot com uh, yahoo's website we'll just make it the same right I mean, this could be one word. I don't, I don't even know how they're supposed to be. Like it, one word or two words. Eh? Website. All right. All right. And so I'm going to do um, just P here, paragraph. All right. And so and it doesn't matter if I actually do that because we know that uh, HTML doesn't really care unless you do like a horizontal break, hard break, or pick paragraph. Anyway, or you can learn some other tags. So let's save this. I just saved it. And let me refresh over here. And you can see if I click this Google link, what's going to happen? It goes over to Google. So that's how you do a link. If I click Yahoo, it goes over to Yahoo. Okay. And so I can just cre keep creating um, more um, links. So these are trust site. But sometimes uh, we're most likely going to happen or not most likely, but you gonna have, definitely have is let's say page two or some other HTML page you're gonna write, right? And so um, just because I wanna speed this up, I'm just gonna copy most of this stuff onto this page. And I'm gonna just say, this is page two or my other page. And this look like a comment because I, I didn't close the comment. So I'll take that out. Um, bam. and then um, let's take this out 
and so I'll just say on this on this page you know I'll say h1 to page 2 okay so we know that the, um, this is page 2 when we load it okay and so let's make sure we save yes it's saved and then I'll click here and then so now I want to um, go to page 2 and uh, maybe I want to do anchor tag href equals to and page that oh, and my thing is helping me complete it because it sees that the page is right there but you could have typed it and I say go to page 2 okay and so um, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna refresh and so it says goes to page 2 and if I click that you can see I'm on page 2 which is that I think so now you can have connection between your pages right and so that's how you do link into to another site or to another page and sometimes you if you want to go to a you know so a site might have you know some specific page that might be like you have to navigate down to I don't know stuff slash other stuff you know slash something that HTML it might actually be like this is how you, you call up a specific page HTML page in some directory stuff other stuff right but other than that you know and, and basically once you know what you use it you want to link to you just put it in there so for example to be a little bit more straight I'm gonna go to my favorite website npr.org and um, let's say if I go to npr.org I see uh, you know just their default home page but if I click on a specific story it says section and blah 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 blah, blah. I copy that link and now I can say you know uh, this is a link to NPR story, for example. And I'm going to say a link href, and then I just paste this whole nonsense in there. Um, and I don't care what that's about. It looked like it was about democratic debate. And I could say, um, right? And now, um, if I do um, save and then I go refresh my page, um, now when I click on this, it actually links to that particular story instead of going to the NPR default website, right? So you can put in that sort of stuff. So we know we know how to go to a site, how to go to a specific page on a site, and how to go to one of your pages. And if you have directories, so for example, here I'm, it's got a folder, but if I have, if I have um, some directory call stuff and then inside there is where I actually have page two you know page two uh, it doesn't want to move to go in there but um, da -da -da -da. let me see copy how can I get a copy of this thing so I can move in there uh, silly thing um, okay now I'll create another page say all copy and then I'll create a new page inside of stuff and I'll call it um, page three that HTML and then I'll paste here and I'll say page three and then I'll set page three here and so when I'm on page two for example I could so totally do a link a um, href um, equals you know you could see here it's showing me that I could link to index page because you know these things are accessible the index page is accessible from this current location where page that HTML is or stuff and then inside stuff there's this other page right and then I could say page three and so on my page at HTML and let's just kind of rename that so inside kind of this page just got page two and then here I'll call it page two and I'm gonna save the whole I'll save this save this okay that's already saved and I'll go back here and I'll reload my page and then now when I go to page two um, uh, wait a second uh, can I get page well the reason why that doesn't work is because here it didn't save uh, let me see save refresh okay page uh, um, hmm. okay here this should go to page two not page Okay, so I don't know why it's going to page. So I'm gonna click on it again. I'm gonna say save and then I'm gonna do refresh. 
and then I'll say page two. Oh, there we go. Now page two. I have to refresh again. And then now page two goes to page three. And, you know, notice how the URL changed up there. So now you know how to navigate pages. But there's one other thing. Sometimes you have a really long page. So let's go find some content um, here, for example. I'm going to copy all this content and I'm just going to stick it inside of my um, stuff here. And I paste it there and I'm going to save it. And it's not going to come up with all the images because I don't have access to the images and so on. And I'm going to refresh my page. Oh, I'm on page two. I need to get back on page one and refresh. And so there it is, right? There's all the content and it's really, really long page. So why don't we do this? Some, we might actually want someone who's reading this page to be at the top and say, jump to like, you know, skip some of the, the stuff. Oh, look at it, skip main content. Yeah, you might actually want to do that. You might want to have the person skip down to another part of your page. So we can say, we're going to put an anchor in our page or a very long page and have them skip to it. So let me, let's do that. Let's just do it. So href, and I could say, the location I want you to jump to is, I don't know, middle. And you could give it any name, right? My middle or something. It doesn't really have to be, it's any name you want to give it. And so we could say jump to the middle of the story. So uh, middle, right, my GD middle of the story. And, you know, I could say jump to the middle of the story. And then, you know, I'll put a BR tag here, this thing. And so I says save. Okay, so let's refresh and see what we have. So there's this tag that says jump to the middle of the story. And maybe I'll... I'll put this in like an H3 or something like that. Um, and let's do that. Let's that, save it. I refresh, jump to the middle of the story. And I click this. Um, there's no such thing as middle, right? Um, actually, this is trying to look for a page that's called middle. Um, so I have to put a pong in front of it. And this says I want to jump to a location within my page. If it was a location on a remote website, the same thing that we did before, where we put the uh, site and page or whatever, and then you just end it with this pong and then the anchor or the location, right? So where's this location now? Let's scroll along and find about the middle of the page. And let's say we think the middle of the page is about here. All right, and so we're gonna say, um, come on, uh, H3, and we can say, this is the middle. And we'll do, um, you know, we can put an anchor there, a tag h um, name. So notice now we use name, and we said my middle. So we use back the name that we had before. And we don't have to put anything in the, between this, okay? Now the truth of the matter is, I think this can honestly be anywhere on the page. It doesn't have to be like at the beginning where I show you here because HTML doesn't really care about, st about that stuff. But let's just leave it outside of this enclosing tag here just for a minute, just to make things easier and there's nothing so there's no link here because this is not really a hypertext reference to some place it's just a an address within our location a marker if you will where we want to jump from from the top here from my middle this is saying pong jump to this reference and then here it's saying this is the name this is where we define that place to jump to and so let's refresh our page and then you can see this look like a link but if we scroll down, we don't see any indication. Oh, there is, this is the middle. But we don't see any indication of a link anywhere here, even though we're using a, a, a tag. That's because we use the name attribute instead of the href attribute. Got the href attribute, which says, turn it into a link to something. And there's nothing to link to here. Um, so this is just an anchor. So when I click this, look at that. I jump down to the middle. So if you have a really long document, you can use this trick to jump about in it. And honestly, I have not had to use this for ages, more than a decade, because one, I don't really make that long pages anymore, and two, um, you know, they just other ways, you just put your pages up and, and give the user other way to navigate, and, but if you need to, for example, like in a long story like this, then it makes sense, all right? So now you know. So those are the, let's just review. What did we do? We were able to link to an external website we're able to link to our own pages, uh, whether it's in the same directory or subdirectory, and we are able to link to um, other anchors within a very long page.
all right? And I think that's basically all you need to do on in terms of LinkedIn to Facebook. Okay, so we're running a bit long in this video at 30 minutes, so I decided to split it. I just turned out that the anchor stuff finished right here at 15 minutes, which is perfect. So the image stuff is going to be in the second video. Bye. See you then.